Hello, I'm Karl Zatter and welcome to the first video of the series Tips for Digital Paint. On these videos I will talk about tips on how to improve your designs and I will talk about things that I wish I had learned when I started drawing. Uh, and today we will talk about values and planes. Yeah. Because it's very important for artists uh, values and planes. And I will try to break down in a simple way. Uh, before we move on to the real class, let me talk a little bit about the value scale that I have here. Well, you can see the value goes from 0 to 10, being 0 the darkest color, black, and 10 the lighter color, 10, uh, white, I mean. And in the middle, you can see that there are the real colors, like gray. And you can see the value scale in Photoshop. Before we move on, I want to uh, I want to give you a little tip that I will show you at, at the end of the video uh, to just to take care. And thing is, in real life, you never will see black, pure black, and pure white. No matter if the object is black, if you take a photo and you uh, pick the color, the color is not black. It never happened in real world. So let's move on and I'll show you uh, two images of mine. One is the image that when I start drawing, well, it's, it's my first digital paint. And the other one is a, a image that I did um, uh, for a game project and I have a DD and an art. So let's start with the first image. And you can see here, uh, well, ignore this. Uh, you can see here that the colors uh, seems great. And what happened is, most of artists, they tend to concern about the color first. But the real trick is, values are more important than colors. And if you ask at any artist, he will say the same. And when you have your values correct, don't matter what color you will use, uh, the drawing will still correct. And here I have colors, beautiful colors, blue for example and a green mix. And if you look at this, you will see, yeah, it's fine, right? But the image looks flat. And you can see, I will turn values away, you can see it's black here and I don't have a um, variation of uh, values. Imagine that if I pick up this color and I move to a brighter value, right? And I start drawing an image and it starts to look like he, he has a sort of... An image starts having a sort of a, a volume, right? You can see. Make it here and even I start, if I pick up a brighter value can see it starts uh, having volume. So let's move on to the next image, right here. You can see that the image still have uh, beautiful uh, colors, and if I check the values, they will be correct too. You can see a darkest value, a middle tone value, a lighter value, and you can see that range of values. Let me show you here, uh, darker value, right, here, a darker value, a middle tone value, and brighter values. And you can see this range of values, like if it's a value scale, let me show you here quick. If I pick up the brush and I go like this, and you can see this value scale, an image. And Let's talk a little bit about planes before, because it's related, right? Uh, when people think about perspective, the first thing that they uh, think about is the linear perspective. Linear perspective is what people are most uh, used to use, and I guess you saw this at least one or two times, right? Uh, people do a perspective, and uh, have to go to the vanishing point 
to create a 3D space, right? Uh, I really want to talk about uh, perspective on this video. So let's move on to the values perspective. It's, it's another way to show a 3D space in a 2D space. And by doing that, you have to have a mix of values like I have here. Like, on the, let's call this uh, background, right? Like, here is the middle ground. And here is the background, right? So you can see that the, uh, oh, but it's foreground, not background. I'm sorry. Uh, and you can see here the background is brighter. The middle ground tends to have a uh, middle tone uh, value, and the foreground have a darkest value. So let's apply here in a little thumbnail, right? I have here and I know it's it looks white but it's not white it's almost white but it's not white okay um, I will not break my own rule <laughs> um, and I will have here a new tone value we will use from the picture here you can choose from the palette right but just to show you what I'm talking about actually I will make this down here and I will have this here right and I have my darkest volume and it's not black too see um, darkest value here so let's do this a little a really quick thumbnail I will actually change the brush so, and don't concern about like you have a tons of middle values, right? So you can mix together and make your image read. It's the important thing is have your image reading. I will not be detailing stuff. I will just show you how values work and why it work here in a really quick example of a thumbnail I, I am not concerned about the, uh, the composition of the picture I am just showing showing you uh, use the darkest picture here darkest volume here yes that's okay for now uh, and you can see that these looks that looks is on foreground and this closes to us here is our background right and here is our middle ground so you can see how it works it show a 3d space in a 2d space and let me show you here a picture Users and uh, we'll see here stocks and textures. Uh, by the way, these textures are from Sigip Texture, and you can check out the website. Just want to show you here what I was talking about white and black. It seems black, right? But if I choose the color, it's not black. And here it seems white, but if I choose the color, you can see that it's a sort of uh, gray thing. Uh, let's see the gray and scale is here. See, it's not white. And um, in here, the blue and saturation. And you can see it's a really large range of values. So let me give you some tips on how to start an image, uh, at least uh, things that I use, and well, let's see here, I will choose this image, right, let's do it pretty quick, I don't want to have a huge video kind of thing, time, and 
selection of values okay for setting an image most of artists start with a middle tone gray and then go uh, from a brighter to a darker tone you can use pictures right you drop the picture here and it's great because you can have a happy happy accident and yet you'll have a huge range of uh, of values to work with and this is not a problem because you're just picking up the values from the picture right right picking up the values and then you delete the picture uh, other way of doing this is using your own own uh, paints whole paints and yeah so let me talk a little bit about let me see yes starting an image my advice is start the image in black and white and then color the image uh, when I first, first started drawing, uh, my first image I started with color and I think most of the people tend to do this. It's not wrong, it's just when you start with values of picture, you have to be real concerned about uh, more important things like um, the composition of the picture, the lighting of the picture and that sort of stuff. If you start with color, you will have... Um, you will tend to look if the color is uh, is a beautiful color and that sort of stuff, if you know what I mean. And uh, by starting in values, it will just eliminate one of the difficult scenes, at least for me, in a paint that is colors, right? So if you start uh, with values, uh, you will concern about having scenes correct, and then you can color the image. Um, if you uh, start the image in with colors. Have make sure of having like a color fill layer like this one in black and set to UV. So that way you can always check your values. And why that? Because people sometimes when draw with color, it, it happened with happened with me when I first start start drawing. Um, starting with color, you will tend to try to separate right not by values but by color and what what happened is when you separate by let me take here right uh, head and then a blue and the values of these two are almost the same between uh, here oh let me show and um, not this blue, let me pick up a darker blue right here. See? Uh, the colors are different, but the values are the same. So, what it do is it create a flat image. It will not have the illusion of a 3D space because you don't have a value separation. What happened is, let me pick up here the practice blue, is another value, is a uh, a brighter value, right? And then let me pick up here the red, that is the darkest value, and you can see that it separates by value and not by color. And this is the most important thing in a picture, at least for me. And I guess that's all. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe to my channel. Any question, you can comment on the video below. And if you want me to do a specific video tutorial, just let me know and I will do it as soon as possible. Okay, thanks a lot guys and have fun!